Hello friends and book babes and welcome back to the channel and book miss. Now I have no idea what day book miss it is but I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying seeing me so much. <laughs> but for this video I decided to do a Instagram chooses my reads. So I picked out six books, posted on my stories for people to vote on which ones I should read. I have like 400 followers on Instagram, so definitely go follow me on there if you're not. I was expecting maybe like 10 people to vote, so we're gonna see the results in a second, but let me show y'all what books I chose. I actually am not too sure what this other genre is, but I just finished the Hunger Games trilogy, and I really wanna watch the movie for the prequel. I wanna read the books first, so I did choose the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I can never remember the title of this dang book. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I have this, which I assume is dystopian, like usual. And then I also have Legend. I think this is like fantasy. It could also be dystopian for all I know. And I actually somehow hit the jackpot on versing to the same genre together. I don't know, but <laughs> these are the two I put on my story. I will be so for real right now. I'm hoping Hunger Games wins. I have some romance. One is YA and one I think is new adult. So I have Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. And then I have Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. This one's the YA. Really want to read both. The thing is with Yours Truly is every time I'm like in the middle of reading something, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna read this one after I'm done. And then something else comes up and I start reading something else. <laughs> So this one has been on the back burner since like the end of August. So if they vote for this one, I'll finally actually read it. But I am kind of wanting this one just because I want to see how Ali does for a YA romance. And it's also just shorter. <laughs> so One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid and The Kingmaker by Kennedy Ryan. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know which one I would prefer but I do think if I was deciding myself maybe Kingmaker just because I read Kennedy Ryan earlier this year for the first time and it was before I let go and I gave that book five stars so I do want to read more of Kennedy Ryan however this one has been on my TBR since April <laughs> and I just honestly forgot about it so it would be a nice relief to finally have said I read it but Honestly, I'd probably rather have The Kingmaker. So, the story has been up for almost 24 hours, so we're gonna go ahead and check and see which ones we have to read. I'm very nervous to not get the ones I want. <laughs> but, yes. I know I could count on y'all. <laughs> Hunger Games won. I was pretty confident that people would pick Hunger Games. And then Checkmate did win. I had 11 votes for Check and Mate and seven votes for yours truly. So more than 10 people voted, slay. And then yours truly did win. Um, I had 11 votes for that and six votes for Kingmaker. So here is the lineup. We have the prequel to The Hunger Games, Check and Mate, and One True Loves. So I don't know which one I should start with. I feel like I should start with the prequel since I'm still on my Hunger Games high, but I also kind of want to take like a like a little break from it. And also it's the thickest one in the stack. <laughs> All right, update. So I just got to page 100 of Songbirds and Snakes. Actually, after the first chapter, the first chapter is 24 pages. And I was reading it on my Kindle because I got it on Libby at the same time. And it felt like so long, even on my Kindle, that I got a free trial with Audible so I could just listen to it <laughs> on audiobook. So I've been doing that and following along or just listening to it while I'm cooking or whatever. So that's how I've been able to get to page 100 in like an hour maybe, which if you know me, I'm not that fast of a reader. So the audible version is really helping with that I'm on chapter seven. And I think I'm starting to like it. Honestly, if I was reading it physically, I might get a little annoyed with how slow it's going but I'm enjoying it for the most part I just can't wait to finally be able to like watch the movie and stop avoiding TikTok edit <laughs> that has been going around of that movie so I'm just excited for that if nothing else to be honest <laughs> Hello. 
Are you crooked? I feel like you're crooked. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I finished <laughs> the Ballad of Song, Birds, and Snakes. Golly, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna remember the title of this book. I'm sorry. But I finished it. Finally, it's been a couple of days. I do have to say I am really happy that I did end up deciding to just do the audiobook. I feel like if I read this physically, I would have got tired of it very quickly because of how thick it is. <laughs> and so I think audiobook is the way to go, at least for me. I enjoyed it a lot more when I was doing that, even just following along whilst, while listening to it, which is what I pr primarily did because I did want to annotate it. It was a lot better reading experience. I can already feel it in my bones. I did have to like kind of look up some book reviews on book talk and stuff like that to really help with my opinion on this book. And I've come to the realization that because I read this book like almost a month after the movie came out and all these edits of snow on my tiktok page was coming up and stuff i just assumed this was kind of like a love story that something tragic happened and that's what made snow the way he is realizing that that wasn't actually what this was about <laughs> was it took a it took a hot minute okay but after i finally had that realization i really started to appreciate the book a lot more so i would give it probably like four stars i f i would view this more so almost like a commentary piece of like how two people can grow up in the exact same environment and become two completely different types of people and stuff like that there's just so much richness within this about the commentaries of war propaganda how people become what they are do they choose to become that way nature versus nurture all these things are in this book and so i think it is very well written i don't think it needed to be nearly as thick as it was <laughs> And do I think the ending was a little rushed? Yes, but at the same time, I feel like it ended the way it needed to end. Find out how The Hunger Games was created, like who thought of the idea, all those things. Like you start to learn a lot of those like behind the scenes things that we didn't know from the trilogy. And then even like foreshadowings of like Mockingjay and Katniss and all this stuff and like why Snow probably hated Katniss so much. It was just, it was really good. I'd give it four stars. I was definitely almost on the side of the people that don't like this book, but after realizing it was what I was perceiving and assuming this book was supposed to be about, that was in the way of me realizing how good the book actually is that's when i was like oh, okay wait this book is actually very good so yeah instagram you really you really you did the thing you did the thing but now that means next is check and mate hopefully i can read this pretty quickly since it's ya and it's ally hazelwood she just writes very easy to read romance books. I feel like I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna like it a lot, even though I know nothing about chess. So I finally finished Check and Mate. It only took me like two days to finish this book. I did end up giving this 3.5 stars. And I think a part of that has to do with anticipation I had for this book. So I'm sure the anticipation of it kind of ruined it a little bit for me. Like it didn't really exceed my expectations. Put it frankly, I should not have to read the word orgasm in a YA book. At least that's what I think because I only ever really read YA books that are like fantasy or dystopian and stuff so the world is literally falling apart and they don't have time to be doing stuff. <laughs> just so much talk 
about sex and I'm all about uh, being afraid to talk about sex to the youth and stuff but I feel like a good 40% of this book the talks about sex was just kind of giving this is how the kids talk nowadays right <laughs> And you know what? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm an ancient 24 year old. I don't know. It was just giving cringe. It was giving corny to me. It was giving she's trying to she's trying so hard to be funny because tell me what the frick dick breath is. Please be so serious. Dick breath really there's nothing wrong with being sex positive in a YA book but it was just the idea of YA I literally googled it because I was like am I tripping do I just not know what YA means but YA is a genre for people that are from the ages of 12 to 18 which is a big range and a lot happens in that age range you know so I think anyone that's like 15 and up could probably read this book but not like I just can't imagine a 12 year old reading this because literally the love hypothesis is probably giving more YA than this is. The only thing that made it not YA was one chapter that had smut in it and the characters being like in their late 20s. That's pretty much the only reason the love hypothesis wouldn't be YA. But if you took those two things out and put these side by side, I would assume love hypothesis is YA before I would assume this one was. <laughs> but then the other like, 60% is actually written pretty well. I think the other half of it and the sex positivity of it was written well because it was still sex positive towards the back of the book but the front half was just so like cringy almost to me and it was just it was giving try hard <laughs> a lot and so I just it took me out of the story too much being that way you know and I don't know if she was just going for the teens are horny so all they do is talk about sex or what you know like I don't know what she like was she trying to be like realistic to how the teens talk because it still doesn't make sense because she's 18 and he's 20 so they're like barely even they're barely even YA age like they're almost too old for YA age I haven't read too many romance YA books but the ones I have read like better than the movies was written very great and YA and I just liked that one better and this one it was just it was giving weird and let's talk about the second qualm I have with this book I have never been someone that found an author mentioning TikTok as a pet peeve because usually the books I've read where they've mentioned TikTok they mention it for like one or two times you know and it's whatever the other reason try hard this is how the kids talk nowadays right <laughs> the amount of times tiktok instagram twitch discord was mentioned in this book it is now a pet peeve. It is totally a pet I wanted to spontaneously combust. I, there was a page where TikTok was mentioned three times. Yeah, so safe to say it's now a pet peeve. I've joined the gang. This pretty much just gives the vibes of Allie Hazelwood wanted to do a closed door romance but was feeling pressure because she's known for her open door romances and so the only way she thought she could get out of it and that obligation was to write a YA romance. And it was very cute. I did enjoy the relationship but I wasn't like feeling like they were soulmates or anything like that. Like it was just very whatever to me so that's pretty disappointing but I still gave it a 3.5 stars because like I said after the first 40 percent the other 60 percent was pretty good so I still enjoyed it for what it was despite the qualms I just mentioned and you can obviously make the argument like teens read smut all the time like I literally read after on Wattpad when I was like 14 but the difference is I knew what after was you know I knew what I was getting into when you market this as YA you should be able to assume 
that is going to have more YA level content, not... Anyways, whatever. 3.5 stars, because I still enjoyed it. There was just... I wish she just did a new adult thing that was closed door and freaking shut up about TikTok. <laughs> We're now going to start One True Loves. I know in the beginning I was kind of sad that I had to read this instead of Kingmaker, but now that I have it in my hands, I'm like... I'm ready. I'm excited. We just got to After with both men <laughs> if you don't know what this is about this is literally it's on the back of the book i'm not it's gonna sound like a spoiler when i explain what this book is about but it's not it's on the back of the book basically about this girl whose husband allegedly died in a helicopter crash and after like five years she moves on she's engaged now to someone else and she gets a phone call from said husband that allegedly died in the helicopter crash so now she has to deal with that <laughs> while being engaged to someone so i have basically got all the backstory in this part and now we're at present got the phone call all that stuff and i just know this half is what's gonna get me because right now i'm like i like who you're with i'm gonna be honest like <laughs> i like both of them and that's the thing with this book everyone's like both choices are great like there's not one better than the other they're both great so it just makes it harder to choose but i feel like at least right now i feel like i feel like i know who she's gonna pick i have no idea they're both great people they're both great guys this is just a sucky situation <laughs> no matter how you slice it or dice it okay two months late damn that sucks that freaking sucks <laughs> bro i don't know how this woman's gonna do this chapter four page 174 because the chapters aren't numbered pet peeve of mine hate that <laughs> that chapter was so how is she gonna do this how is she gonna do this because the person in that chapter is who i'm rooting for the boss the other guy <laughs> like, this is so this is just she said she says it in the book no matter what happens she's hurting all of them <laughs> I don't think I can do this. I'm so sad for everyone involved and this isn't even real. I don't even know. I feel like you can only, she can only choose the person I'm rooting for because <laughs> I'm rooting for them. But no, like my, my, my like predictions, right? I feel like she has to choose the person I'm rooting for or choose neither of them. I'm going to be surprised if she chooses the other guy to be honest but also at the same time <laughs> the other guy when she saw him i finished <laughs> i sat here in this same spot for four hours <laughs> and finished this book actually i'm kind of surprised i finished this in four hours i'm pretty slow that's crazy but i finished it which is great because i need to post this video tomorrow so love that for me <laughs> but oh my god this was so good i give it a 4.5 stars i think it was perfectly well written i loved so much about it i think it wrapped up greatly do you feel like even before reading the book i knew like I had an inkling of who she would probably end up with even without reading the book at all. So there's that. It's just not, it just didn't give like a five star feel. But, oh my God. I love both of the men in here so much. I wish the one she didn't pick had his own little book, like just like a little novella <laughs> because I love both men so much. I wish there was more of everyone just being happy. It's great. I heard there's a movie, so I might like look up the movie and see how they did with that but that pretty much concludes this video my instagram followers know me pretty well because like not one book got like a two star or anything like even with my qualms of check and mate it still got a 3.5 stars for me you know and that's pretty good and so this is the highest rated one uh ballad of songbirds and snakes I remember the title now, guys. <laughs> the Hunger Games book, that one had four stars. Check and Mate was 3.5. So 
this was a pretty successful video my instagram followers know the tea thank you guys for everyone who participated in the votes if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you do because i'll probably do these more often because it was actually really fun but yeah that concludes this video and the last day of book miss I actually really enjoyed doing Bookmas. I'll probably do it next year again too. But if you enjoyed Bookmas as well, I hope you decide to tag along on the journey with me and subscribe to the channel because I will definitely still be posting, just not as frequently. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on my socials. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!